Hello there. Uh, we are going to do a very, very similar proof to the one that I did in a previous video about the existential quantifier, where we're going to kind of uh, show that this can flip to this. So uh, for all x, all y, pxy, therefore for all y, all x, pxy. Um, even more than the last one, this one kind of just makes sense when you say it aloud, um, but I think think we should kind of go through the steps of uh, substitution and kind of flip everything around see how it looks uh, so the uh, let's let's get started with our substitutions and you'll see that um, w when I when I did the substitutions with the existential quantifier I went into a subproof with a universal you don't really have to do that because you're not really assuming anything because if this is true for all X then you really don't have anything to worry about. It's true for any variable you're going to put in there. Uh, so we're going to we're going to do this. Then we're going to say. I usually do C's and D's as my substitutions, and that's universal elimination of line one. And I'm putting in a C for X. And again, remember, not necessary to put that. Um, it just looks nice. <laughs> and uh, that's how I was I was shown how to do it. Uh, and I, I really like it. Um, if you get sick of it, you don't have to, but it, it's just a good way to avoid ambiguity. Uh, and then we can just literally do this. Universal elimination line two, and we're putting in a D for that Y here. We wanna f uh, flip this, so now we're gonna yank out the, um, the Y for, no, the the x first. So, for all x, p, or uh, I should say we're yanking out the c first. Uh, maybe actually no, yeah, I'm yanking out the x. <laughs> there we go. And that's a universal initialization. And we're putting an x for c. Line five, all y, all x. P X Y. I know I went through that kind of fast, so uh, let's talk through it one more time. Again, it's not super crazy, um, and again, like uh, we we don't have to do the uh, subproofs, or it, it's not recommended that we do the subproofs like we did for existential. And again, that's that's not required for any of them. It just it just looks nice. It helps you kind of keep track of what's going on. So yeah, we um, we threw in that C for our X, put D for Y, and then just popped them out one at a time, ended up flipping it. So what this is saying, I'm going to write this just like I wrote it in that other video, just for clarity. This is saying that all X, all Y, P, X, Y, is logically equivalent to all y, all x, p, x, y. I'm going to make that x actually look like an x. There we go. All right. Thank you.